Gala, gala, a Zoom gala. Now you finally had a reason to dress up. You're looking great, but I must fess up. As you see, I'm looking scraggly and weird. I can't find anyone to trim my beard. But it's okay, cause it's a Zoom gala, gala. It's a Zoom gala, gala. A Zoom gala, gala. It's a Zoom gala. Gala. Temple Isaiah is our guiding light. This is why we've gathered tonight. We hope you're feeling in a generous mood. A great way to show your gratitude. At our Zoom Gala Gala, it's a Zoom Gala Gala. A Zoom Gala Gala, it's a Zoom Gala. Yeah, we can't give kisses and hugs. You may be drinking your wine out of mugs. But it's okay, we're here to feel good. Let's toast Lachayim to your Jewish neighborhood. It's a Zoom Gala Gala, it's a Zoom Gala Gala. A Zoom Gala Gala, it's a Zoom Gala Gala. Zoom Gala Gala, it's a Zoom Gala Gala. Zoom Gala Gala, it's a Zoom Gala Gala. Zoom. Wow, Cantor Corn, amazing. Thank you so much. I can already tell it is going to be a fun night to everyone. Welcome to our Zoom Gala Gala, yes. It is going to be amazing tonight. Tonight is really about celebrating our community. Now we know that originally our gala was meant to be in person. And we also know that originally this evening was planned to be a night to honor our fabulous Cantor Corn, right? For the ways in which he lifts us up and guides us with his music to show our love for him and our community. Well, we really want to honor Cantor Corn with our shared music at a time when we can lift up all of our voices together. And so for those reasons, we are postponing our celebration of Cantor Corn to a later date in the year when we can have an expanded Cantor's concert. It's going to be amazing. And there's certainly more to come about that, but have no worries tonight. There's going to be plenty of Cantor Corn and his singing. But here we are, here we are in this very moment. Most of all, I pray, I know all of us in our temple family pray that you are safe. And of course we want to share, and I hope you already know, that of course if you need anything at all, please, please, please do not hesitate to be in touch with any of us at Temple Isaiah, we are here for you. As I shared the other night at our annual meeting, what we have learned through this crisis and what we have proven is that Isaiah is not defined by what happens in our sanctuary and what happens in our classrooms and in our social hall. No, we are defined by our connections. We are defined by our actions. We are defined by our hope. And we've learned that Temple Isaiah matters. Temple Isaiah matters a lot to a lot of people. Tonight is about acknowledging the way that Isaiah matters in our larger community and the way that Isaiah matters to you and how it's made a mark on your life. It's about sharing our love and our gratitude for all the ways that we have been there for each other. How has Isaiah mattered to you? What has moved you this year or throughout all any, any of your time at Isaiah? Let us get close to those moments over this past year and beyond when Isaiah showed up. Maybe it was a moment from the holy days, or maybe it was a life cycle event when we walked together. Maybe it was knowing that Isaiah is a place where we bring in homeless families for two weeks out of the year for winter nights. Maybe it was a call from our outreach team during this pandemic or it was Torah study or Talmud study or, or a moment during JQuest or that aha moment during your Omer study. Maybe it's the friends you've made through Women of Isaiah or Anche Isaiah. Maybe it's the way that you know your preschool uh, teacher knows just how to soothe your child when she enters the classroom. Maybe it's in knowing when you really need it that Isaiah will always be there for you. Maybe it's in the many years that you know that this is your home, your people, your community, and that we stand for you. And we stand for the Jewish people here and all around the globe, that we will always stand up for what's right, we'll always stand up for our values, and that we are committed to making sure that Judaism matters now and Judaism will matter always. 
Tonight is about all of those moments and more. We are dreaming and we are planning for our future. We absolutely intend to be that strong, resilient, innovative, inspiring, and intimate community that you know and love so well. And as always, it takes a whole community to make that happen now and into our future, into tomorrow. So thank you for your support, and thank you for showing up tonight, and thank you for showing up always. I hope you know that Temple Isaiah is here for you, not just in these difficult days happening right now, but here for you every day. We are so proud to be a part of your life and so glad that you have made your home in this, our Jewish neighborhood. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight and we invite you to relax, pour yourself a beverage as your cantor proudly presents another parody. Our guest, be our guest, put our Zoom room to the test. Hope you got some drinks and noshes there, cause we'll provide the rest. You'll have fun, be inspired, fancy plates are not required. Though it's true you had to make food, but at least you'll know it tastes good. Let's all sing, maybe dance, you're home alone, so take a chance. Cause our gal is here, our never second best. We'll raise a glass and tribute, but until then, please mute, be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Be our guest, be our guest, Isaiah's galas are the best. Just sit down and click a link and let your Wi-Fi do the rest. I can't hear you but can see, would you turn off your TV? While you listen to me singing, I can't tell your cell phone's ringing. Temple is a great cause when you rise for your applause. Just be sure that you are adequately dressed. Just open up your screen and surely you'll be seen. So be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Oh, life can feel demeaning while we are quarantining. We've run out of games and Netflix shows. Can't bear to do another jigsaw puzzle. Can't bear to build another set of Legos. But thank God for our dear temple, for it's a great example of how community can stay strong. Our programs and our services are thriving. And tonight should be a slayer. Let's all toast Temple Isaiah. Be our guest, be our guest. Let us celebrate J Quest. Gone Elon and know our night. Our education is the best. W-O-I and on Shay, Angel Network via Isaiah. We've got rabbis that inspire, and may I say, the greatest choir. Camp Kefli, winter nights, I could go on here all night. For it's the greatest synagogue in Lafayette. Okay, there are no others. Why would anyone bother when we're the best? Are you impressed? Are you thoroughly obsessed? Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Woo! Well, let us welcome a few more guests from our past and our present to our gala. Hi, Temple Isaiah. I know that you're stronger because you have each other. Sending love and joy and lots of good health from the East Coast. Lefaim. Temple Isaiah, may Atave Adolam, now and forever. Lefaim. Hi, Temple Isaiah, so happy to celebrate. Oh. Happy to be celebrating with all of you from the distance. Hope you are well. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate friends from Isaiah. The Chaim. 
Mazel Tov to Temple Isaiah and to all of you on this wonderful day. May you continue to go from strength to strength in serving the Jewish people. Amen. Rechaim. Rechaim. Thinking of you all from Boston. Stay strong, Isaiah. Rechaim. On behalf of Rabbi Shelley Waldenberg, you chose me to be your rabbi 48 years ago to take you along on my spiritual journey. Instead, you took me along on yours, and my life was and is all the richer for it. Chazak Baruch. Happy Gala. L'chaim. I raise this glass in celebration of Temple Isaiah to the vibrancy and vitality of your remarkable congregation celebrating a virtual gala tonight the Union for Reform Judaism lifts this cup with me to say L'chaim to you. Welcome everyone. I am thrilled to see all of you here via Zoom. You all look beautiful. I know that our gala is always a special occasion, so it looks like many of you took the opportunity to actually shower and comb your hair today, which is, which is nice, I know, for my family. Um, not just for us, but a gift, too, to those whom you're quarantining with. Um, you always can count on Temple Isaiah for these unexpected benefits. But in all seriousness, I want to thank you all for logging on and supporting Temple Isaiah. We are grateful to the amazing and creative staff and senior clergy team, especially Rabbi Perlman and Cantor Korn and the entire Zoom Gala Gala committee uh, that, for putting this together, sorry about that. I wanna thank our sponsors who pledged when they thought they'd get dinner and dancing out of the deal. And yet uh, almost everyone was incredibly generous and donated their pledge even though they're having to make their own quarantinis tonight. This is Iraq from Israel, by the way. Um, you're going to be inspired tonight. I can promise you that. You will be proud of our community and you'll hear and see what Temple Isaiah means to so many of our members. From the littlest ones at Ganelon to our wisest ones and everyone in between. So I'm going to ask that if you are able to do so, you act on that inspiration by donating tonight an amount that is meaningful to you in support of our community. We'd love to raise at least the $80,000 that we budgeted to raise at our in-person gala. But the truth is, and I'll be honest, many of us in leadership are worried about the upcoming fiscal year. We know that what's happening in our world in terms of COVID-19 and its effect on our economy is going to affect Temple Isaiah. We know that it already has, and the uncertainty presents enormous challenges. That's why we need your help. Our goal is to do whatever we can to have Temple Isaiah come out the other side of all this as strong or perhaps even stronger than when this is all started, with better relationships, with better connections, and with a greater sense of purpose in terms of being there for one another, and really having everyone feeling a part of this great Jewish community. I also want to emphasize a critically important point that is fundamental to our values, and, and I mean this sincerely, on behalf of our board, and we understand that people on this call are struggling. There is no one who will be turned away from Temple Isaiah because of financial hardship, period. We are glad that you're here. So if you're not in a position to give, we don't expect you to do so. Temple Isaiah and our clergy are here for you, so please reach out to them if we can help. I am asking, however, that those of you who are able to do so, give from the heart in support of our community tonight. As you know, we usually meet our annual gala fundraising goal with our fund to need, where we ask guests to pledge at levels of $10,000, $5,000, reducing by half all the way down to $100. This year, you can pledge your support all evening by just putting your name into the chat and the amount of your donation. You may wanna consider what you've saved by not having leave, to leave home for tonight's gala. You didn't need to rent a tux or hire a babysitter. Imagine what you might have spent at the auction for those sporting events that sadly aren't happening. You'll see in a moment other ways for you to donate, including if you'd prefer to give anonymously, which would be terrific as well. And remember, all donations tonight are 100% tax deductible. Lastly, I know you love Temple Isaiah in our community. I don't think you'd be here if you didn't. So here's my other request. 
It would inspire me and our leadership team, and I know it'll inspire all of you if you do me a favor. Whether or not you feel able to donate tonight in support of our community, please tell us in the chat why you love Temple Isaiah. Just a couple of sentences. I know my kids are ready to start us off, and as you'll see in the next video, we got a few folks who have already answered that question. Have fun tonight, and thanks for being here. Why do I love TI? Well, y'all, it's the people. This community is my home. It's my friends and my clergy. I love the groups I participate in, and I also love the groups that I've helped to form and run over the years. I'm so grateful for our temple neighborhood. It is truly the place where I want to be, and I hope you will all join me in helping to assure our future. Why do you love TI? We love Temple Isaiah because we made lifelong friends. We love Isaiah because it welcomes multicultural families. What she said. We, we love, love Isaiah for the team program. We love St. Bob Torah. Zoo Gala Gala. Hi, everyone. Hello. My name is Marla Scro. And I'm Luca Scro. And we are coming to you live from our house and the ways Temple has shaped us as people. I love working with kids and I'm so thankful to work at Donnie Lawn and babysit and know that I have a community wherever I go. Hi, Temple Isaiah. I appreciate Temple Isaiah so much. And because of Temple Isaiah, this is my second year on the executive board of Hillel at my college. Woo! Woo! We're Alex and Janet Chisnevsky. We've been Temple members since 1994. I love Temple Isaiah and I consider it my second home. I cherish the wonderful friendships I've made over the years and I so enjoy going to services, studying and celebrating on special occasions. I've had the amazing opportunity to get to know our seniors and I really enjoy gathering with them at our Wise Ones meetings. I really appreciate Temple Isaiah. It's given me an opportunity to reconnect with my Jewish roots, become the center of my social life, and I especially appreciate our Torah study group meeting on Shabbos morning and helping us understand our ancient Torah with the clergy and with our other participants. I'm Shafton, and I love being a member of Temple Isaiah and the co-chair of Values in Action. When we moved here, we have no family in the area, but Temple Isaiah has become our chosen family. One of my favorite memories from the last year at Temple Isaiah um, was on the Valleys and Action trip to the border. It was a hot day. We all linked arms together and we stood and prayed along the border wall. I'm so proud and honored to be a part of such a committed and loving community. We love Isaiah because it feels like home! Wow, there are so many reasons to love Isaiah for folks of all ages. Uh, we hope, of course, that uh, you love Isaiah too. We're hosting tonight to, of course, lift up our love and show our support and our gratitude for our community. And as our amazing president shared, uh, this is there are so many different ways in which we can show our love. And one of the ways is if you are financially able to do so is to give generously in this forum. Um, and if you need a reminder about how to do that, we invite you to, you can look in our chat, we invite you to place your full names and the amount that you are donating tonight. So far, we'll have a chance like to take a look at those numbers about where we are now. So, oh, there we are. Wow. Oh my goodness. We are already on our way. We already have $7,515 pledged. We are on our way. It's so exciting. So I'm just scrolling back uh, through our chat. And I, of course, want to thank, uh, let me see. There are so many great reasons people love Temple Isaiah. Alan and Lorette Janis, thank you so much. And Rabbi Jill and Jeff Perlman, thank you for your donation. To the Zoger Wallenberg family, thank you so much. To Mark Feldman, thank you for your donation. And Kathy and Abe Mintz, Susan Yeager, Julie and Stephen Bell, thank you so much. Susan and Willie Mountner, the, Je the Jenis family, Neela and Joe Pakel, Vivian and David Auslander, Leslie and David Shafton, Arlene Kaufman, thank you. Marilyn Morris, thank you. 
Kendra and Dave Freed. Wow, there's a lot of people giving. This is great. Sherry Lockshin, Terry, uh, Tracy and Stephen Gordon. Thank you, Jane Gorlick, Nancy Cornfield, Valerie and Mark Milner, Sarah and Mike Grossman, Carol and Bob Lowitz. This is fantastic. Jamie and Todd Feldhammer, Ellen Bernstein Ellis. Thank you. Lynn Harrington Goldie and Chip Goldie. Thank you. Helen Sokol and Don Wayne. Kim and Mark Drucker, Harriet Harris, thank you. Lisa and Joe Spiegler, thank you so much. Larry Prozan and Esther Kestenbaum, thank you. The Greninger family, thank you so much. From Ofra and Bob Weiss, thank you for your donation. The Kleinberger family, thank you. Karen and Chuck Fisk, thank you. From the Tarkov family, thank you so much for your generous donation. Haley Cohen and Jeff Glickman, thank you so much. Judy Fines and Rich London, Oh, I just lost my scroll. The Wait. Petersons, thank you so much. The Rideouts. Uh, Dean Goldfine and CCJDS, thank you so much, Dean and Tam Tamara. The Wellerstein family, thank you so much, David and Sandy Anderson. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, uh, Maynard and Judy Lichterman, Alex and Jan Trzniewski, thank you so much. From Suzanne Krasna, thank you so much so much. Uh, Steve and Judy Lifson, Debbie Dovin, and Scott Robinson. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, Michelle and Larry Brown, uh, Misha and Jeff Wolf, Lisa and Richard Cohen, Rabbi Shanks and Jamie Gracer. Uh, from the Downses, thank you so much. Katie and John Berryhill, Eden Bruner at CCJDS, thank you so much for your support. The Hannon and Gershik family, Lynn and Rob Berg. Um, my father is giving me a shout out in the box. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. The Feller family, uh, Jane and Mark Sedley, Gloria Schiller, Scott and Sarah Langbein, the Wedeking family. This is awesome. Debbie Frank and Ed Hamley. Uh, did I actually get to the end? My finger is getting a little stiff. You know what's Susan great, Jewel Kendra? and Heather Stoneman, thank you so much. And you know what's great, Cancer? We're gonna have chances to check back with our scroll too in a little while. Great, Jory and Rich Carmel, Rachel and Tom McCutcheon and the Goldstein family. This is amazing. I hope you are all enjoying Sue and Dave Bressler, Terry Moss and Peter Blueford. Thank you so much. I hope you're all enjoying some snacks. I, for one, I'm still getting through Passover, so I've got my Manischewitz and macaroons. A great Zoom Gala Gala combination. We will come back, and I know more of you have put names in. We will share more names uh, at, our next, uh, at our next funding break. Um, welcome to the Temple Isaiah Telethon. We now are going into um, our first bit of fun and amusement tonight. We're gonna have a little trivia game that we're calling Quiz Show. And I wanna give you a heads up that uh, in just a little bit, we're gonna be having another contest. And if you haven't read about it, there are gonna be three categories that we're gonna ask you to compete in. The first is zaniest article of clothing. The second is most beautiful Judaica. And the third is cutest pet or photo of your pet but we sure do like to see those pets on Zoom. So um, you can get those ready. That's gonna happen just a little bit later, but I'm gonna turn everything over now to Adam Hannon, our quiz master for a little trivia fun tonight. Well, thank you, Cantor Corn. Love the songs. They're so much fun. Can't wait to hear some more. So now we're gonna have a little bit of fun as a, as a community here. There are a lot of us and I'm gonna give you some instructions and then we're gonna go through a, a quick trivia game. So first, this game is just for fun. There's no scoring. You can keep your own, see how many of them you get right or not. Um, also, I'm going to randomly choose somebody to answer each question. Now, don't freak out. I'm not gonna just randomly do it because you're gonna tell me if you think you know the answer. And the way you're going to do that is if you go to the bottom of your screen, you'll see a button that says participants. And if you click that button, you will sh should see a button that says raise hands. Um, so I'd like everyone to actually try that right now. Just go ahead, see if you can get your hand raised. I see lots of hands raising. So this is great. So what we're gonna do is I will give you a category 
and a question. And I will ask, when I ask the question, raise your hand if you know the answer. I will randomly choose somebody. Just because you're first doesn't mean you're going to get picked, OK? I'm going to try to give everybody a chance. So thank you. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower everybody's hands right now. And uh, when I call on you, I will also unmute you. So uh, be ready for that. If I call your name, you're going to come off mute. And we're going to ask for the answer. So are we ready? Let's do it. We've got four categories for you and three questions in each category. So let's go to the first category right now. The first category, appropriately, is party on the top. And all the questions are themed in that way. So party on the top, question one. Last summer, Temple Isaiah held a party on the top of the Salesforce Tower in San Francisco. The party was called Rise Up. What is the name of the top party floor of the Salesforce Tower? Okay, I'm gonna give you a second to raise your hand if you think you know the answer. All right, and I've got a couple here. Let's go with the Wolf Pack. Sky View. I'm sorry? They call it the, uh, the Sky View. No, I'm sorry, that is not correct. How about the Bell family? If I can unmute you, if I can make it work. There we go, okay, I think you're unmuted, Bell family. Room, the Ohana room is the answer. That is correct, the Ohana floor, Ohana room we will accept. Good answer, okay. Hope some of you got that one. Let's try the next one. Party on the top, question two. What is the local seven and a half mile mobile party that features tens of thousands of runners in all sorts of costumes and some in nothing at all? Okay, we've got a lot of answers here. I'm gonna randomly select one. How about uh, Sarah Langby? It's the beta breakers. That is correct. It's the Bay to Breakers. All right. I hope you all uh, got that one back in, uh, in, in, your, uh, in your homes. Let's go to the next question. Party on the top, question three. For decades, Israeli politics was dominated by the Labor and the Likud parties. What is the name of the centrist, pluralistic party led by Benny Gantz? Give you a second to click those answers. Let's go with, oh, where was it? Let's try Lynn and Rob Berg. Blue. That's correct. Well, no, it's blue and white, but we'll, we'll give you that. <laughs> you almost got it. You got half of it. All right. And like I said, this is all for fun. So hopefully you got that one back in, uh, back in, uh, in your homes. All right. Let's move on to the next topic. The next category is PJs on the bottom. Probably not a surprise since it was party on the top for the first one. So let's get the first question. Name this internationally acclaimed supermodel wearing pajamas in public. Let's see some photos. All right. Who is that? Alana. Alana Kleinberger. What do you think? Gigi Hadid is correct. Good answer. All right. Let's go to the next one. We actually have another famous celebrity. Name this Oscar award-winning actor wearing pajamas in public. Come on, everybody should get this one. All right. I'm seeing lots of people answer. I'm going to give you a second and to get some answers in here. I'm just going to pick somebody randomly. Uh, Rich London. Matt Damon. That is correct. It is Matt Damon. All right. Good job, all. All right. Let's go to the, the next one. PJ's on the bottom. Question three. All right. We're going to go back in time now. Doris Day starred in what 1957 musical about love blossoming amidst factory labor strife based on the novel Seven and a Half Cents 
And just a hint, she starred in both Broadway and the film. All right, we've got a lot of folks here. How about uh, trying to unmute here? Doesn't seem to want to let me. Judy Craft. Pajama game. That is correct. Good job, Judy. It is the pajama game. All right. That's the end of that category. Let's move on to the next one. The third category is Jewish mishmash. So everything's going to have some sort of Jewish connection to it. All right. Are we ready? Question one. When Temple Isaiah was founded in 1951, our campus still housed a kitschy Polynesian restaurant and lounge. In what building did we first gather? All right, I see some answers coming in. Let's go with Emily and Dan. It was, it's the, called the Temple House now, but it was a, a, a tiki restaurant. Okay. Okay, that, that is true, but that is not the answer that we were looking for. Okay. We want to know, where did we first meet as a synagogue? How about uh, Karen Fiske? Do you know? Fiske, you know? yeah. Um, it, I think it's in the Lafayette Town Hall. That was correct. It was the Lafayette Town Hall is where we met. All right, I'm gonna lower everybody's hands. We're gonna go on mute again here. And we're gonna to go to the question two. Roald Dahl created an interstellar traveling, slug-like alien race in his Willy Wonka stories. But their name sounds more like a Jewish delicacy. Who are they? All right, I see some answers coming in here. Let's go with Sheila Motz. Oh, uh-oh. Sheila? The Oompas. No, it's not the uh, Oompas, although they were in there for sure. How about, uh, let's see, who is this? R.T. Friedman. R.T. Oh, Friedman? Friedman? That's me. How do I do this? Uh, just answer. We can hear you. Okay. Um, I think, I don't think I have it. James and the Giant Peach? No, that is not it. Okay, we're going to go for one more attempt here. So let's try uh, the Bell family. Oh, you uh, got to answer. Pernicious no, no. All right, Stephen. The Vernicious Commit? That's it. The Vernicious Knids. All right. Thank you, Bell family, for an answer. All right. The third question here, everybody should get this one. Everyone knows Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, but before she became first known as Giselle in the Fast and Furious films, what famous competition did she represent the state of Israel? I'll bet people could guess on this one. All right, let's go with Raul and Charlotte. Do you have an answer? Miss Israel. Uh, in, in what uh, competition did she represent Israel? Miss Universe. That is correct. That's the answer we were looking for. Thank you. Good job. Okay, so, so far we've gone through three categories. We've got one more left of three questions. And I hope that all of you are having fun and, and tallying your own answers and doing well at, at home. So let's get the last three questions now. The last category is appropriately Zoom Mishmash. All Zoom related questions. So Zoom Mishmash one. What is the silly tongue twisting language game popularized in the 1970s PBS kids show, Zoom? Adina. Adina, you there? Did I unmute you? I. Do you know the answer? No. 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 Okay. That was not it then. <laughs> How about uh, Suzanne Krasna? Super cal super caladocious uh, expialidocious something like that. <laughs> 
No, unfortunately, Suzanne, that's not it. Let's okay. try one. Let's try one more answer. Uh, let's go with Jojo Peterson. I'm gonna guess pig Latin. Ixne omni umze. You know what? It's not pig Latin, but it's close. The actual answer is ubby dubby, or in ubby dubby, abba bubby dubba bubby. So it's close to pig Latin, but good guess. All right, let's go on to the next question. What bird can really zoom? It's not only the fastest bird, but also the fastest animal capable of diving at 200 miles per hour. Uh, let's go with Steve Snyder. Hum hummingbird. No, it is not the hummingbird, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, let's try Rachel McCutcheon, if I can unmute you. There we go. Peregrine falcon. Woo! Yeah, the peregrine falcon. Good job. All right. We have one last question for you today. Here we go. Everyone says logging into Zoom is like being on the game show Hollywood Squares. What wisecracking actor was the most famous and frequent denizen of the center square? All right. Let's go with Susan Rideout. Paul Lynn. Okay. That was it. Paul Lind. Good job. All right, all. Well, I want to just uh, thank you all for this. I hope you had a good time. Uh, I hope you got some of these answers right. It's always fun to guess and, and see how well you do. But thank you. And now I'm going to turn it back to Rabbi Perlman. Thank you so much, Adam. And thank you uh, to everyone for participating. And congrats to all of those with winning answers. Of course, we are all winners here at Isaiah. But it is no contest when it comes to how much love we have for our community and how much impact Isaiah has had on our lives. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hear from a few of our families on just that. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Mark. And our daughter Ava is in her second year at Ganiwan. The way we feel about Ganiwan can best be described in two words. Happy school. That's what our daughter calls it. And we think it is a beautiful name for a beautiful place. A place where our daughter has thrived and been nurtured by teachers who really care. We couldn't be happier with our decision to let our child go to Ganiwan. We really love the sense of Jewish community at Ganawan. We also love the cultural and religious knowledge that our son, not this one, brings home from Ganawan. And we hope that soon this one will be a Ganawan student. Hi, Julie and I welcome you to this Zoom time and are honored to be able to tell you how important and meaningful Temple Isaiah has been in our family's lives. All of my immediate family left Judaism. I found my way back to it through Temple Isaiah. It began with me finding out that I had relatives in the Bay Area who were Jewish right before Julie and I got married. And they advised me to seek out a local synagogue and rabbi to begin my journey to explore Judaism. I found Temple Isaiah and Rabbi Gretz, beginning with taking who is a Jew class with my wife Julie, then going before Beidin and dunking the mikvah with my baby son Garrett to celebrate my re-entry into Judaism. Everything took off from there. I served on TI board for many years in finance and was involved when our nationally recognized teen program was formed as well as the startup of our preschool gone along. Julie converted and had an adult bat mitzvah and served as a rule editor for over a decade. I had my bar mitzvah on a men's group retreat. I was also lucky enough to go with Rabbi Gretz on the congregation's first trip to Israel. After Rabbi Gretz started Torah studies Shabbat mornings, I asked him if he could do a Talmud class in the middle of the week, and he thought we could not get enough people to come. But he would do it if I'd get five to ten people. I recruited some Torah studies followers, and thus we began the Talmud class that still goes on to this day. And when we expanded the sanctuary, as well as built a Talmud Torah building, many thanks to Don Shake and his leadership. Rabbi Gret convinced us to donate what little we had as we had very little net worth at the time. He also convinced me to go door to door with him asking our congregants to invest in their TI Jewish future. 
Tim Paisa is a great Jewish community serving and welcoming all ages from the youngest to oldest, basically saving the people and helping keep us Jewish. Between CCJDS and TI, our sons were prepared for, were able to face the onslaught of anti-Semitism they saw in high-level competitive sports in their local public high school. And they saw many of their Jewish peers leave their Judaism behind, but they did not, thanks to TI. We ask you today to give as much money as you can to TI no matter the amount. Just as Julie and I did when we had virtually nothing, as we realized that TI can change our lives and multiple generations forward, as it did for our family. So let's all give with our hearts. We realize that out of all the giving we can do, this particular gift each of you gives today will positively impact so many lives and so many generations that our gifts are invaluable. Wow. There is a lot of love tonight. Thank you to everyone who uh, has given in so many different ways over the years to Temple Isaiah. Those who give through your love, through showing up, through volunteering, through leading, uh, through supporting our community by helping us keep our lights on, uh, by keeping our programs rich and meaningful, for helping us keep our staff whole and intact for another year. Thank you so much. It is so uh, meaningful for us. And of course, we encourage you to give in any amount that is meaningful. Every amount um, is absolutely appreciated. And I I am so pleased to to share that um, Julie and Paul, who you just saw, um, have so generously donated eighteen thousand dollars as a donation to tonight's gala. Thank you so much. We are so, so, so appreciative. Um, it is amazing. We know how much you care about our community um, and thank you for being a part of it and giving in this way. And I know that you are giving, by giving this gift, you are hoping to inspire others. Um, so I know that you have done just that. So if you haven't yet had a chance to give, we invite you to do so now. Um, it is just, it's just so meaningful to be together tonight. Deb, can we see our numbers? Can we see where we're at? Oh my gosh, wow, we are at $47,973. Thanks to Julie and Paul, and thank you to everyone for taking part. That is amazing and so, so wonderful. We have so many folks to thank. I don't really remember where I left off, so I'm gonna say a name that I know I said, which some people might get a second shout out. Gloria Schiller and Sarah and Scott Langbein, the Wedeking family, Debbie Frank and Ed Hanley, Jane and Mark Sedley, Susan Jewell and Heather Stoneman, thank you so much. Jory and Rich Carmel, thank you. Rachel and Tom McCutcheon, the Goldstein family, the uh, 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 Sue Adler Bressler and Dave Bressler, Terry Moss, Peter Blueford, Jane and Mark Sedley, Mike and Melanie Brent, thank you so much. Helen, I'm not sure which Helen it is, but we are so grateful for your donation. The Sutton Willen family, thank you so much. Charlotte and Raul Poniacek, thank you. Bruce and Robin Whitley, an anonymous uh, donation came in, thank you so much. And again, thank you to Julie and Paul, not only for your donation, but your inspiring video. Your story is really an inspiration to all of us. Thank you so, so very much. Larry and Melissa Jakubowicz, thank you for your generous donation. Uh, and uh, for the rideouts, thank you so much. Susan and Jeff Rideout, thank you so much for your donation and congratulations for getting the last question in trivia. Always exciting. So uh, the beauty of all of this is that we will continue to accept donations. Perhaps something else this evening will be uh, something else that inspires you. Again, we are looking, uh, if you're able to give at any level, we are really, really grateful for that. And now I think we are transitioning to our best in shul competition. Best in shul competition. So we are so excited that we uh, are gonna have three categories of competition. Again, the first competition is uh, Zanius Outfit. Now, if you have not enabled your video, you need to do that. Otherwise we are not gonna get to see your uh, amazing uh, outfit. What I'm gonna ask everyone to do is move your cursor up to the right corner and make sure you're in gallery view. There are two ways to view the screen, gallery view and speaker view. You wanna be in gallery view, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see all of the amazing entries in our competition. 
we uh, are going to start off uh, with our first uh, competition, which is zaniest article of clothing. So it can be anything. For example, my zaniest article of clothing is this yarmulke made out of Diet Coke cans. A yarmulke made out of Diet Coke cans. Perhaps one of your articles of clothing is just as zany. Our judges for this round are past president Jasmine Tarkov, member of our executive committee Heather Stoneman, and our very own Rabbi Levine, who looks like he is partying with turkeys. Uh, so we're going to unmute our judges so that we can make sure we hear their choices. I know they are scanning through to see if anything jumps out at them. And you might want to have one or two ready judges because in case somebody else picks one that you have in mind. I'm going to go first to Jasmine. Are you unmuted, Jasmine? I am unmuted. And I do love that Yamakov. I got to do a couple of quick shout outs. I'm loving Jane Sedley's eye mask. And I saw some sparkle sparkle on Heidi Benison and Suzanne Krasna. And I'm loving Eli Genesis. Very cool red Hawaiian shirt. But the person who takes the prize for me is Mary on Mary's iPad with her feathers and her feather hat. Woohoo! All right, so Mary is one of our finalists. I'm gonna head over to Heather Stoneman. And Heather, Mary, you would hold unmute. On second, Heather. You will Mary. unmute Heather and uh, tell us who your pick is. Mary, if you can hear me, Mary, raise your hand electronically and I'll spotlight you. I'm not gonna lie here. Uh, Mary on Mary's iPad did just fly out at me, but <laughs> I, I, there's a lot of zaniness going on here. So I, I support that vote, but I'm gonna go, you know, there's there's some good ones here, but I think, whoa, whoa I just went into a weird, Mary's iPad is fully on me right now. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Lisey there with those glasses. They are throwing me and, I don't know who you're looking at, or but I love it. That's where I'm going with that. That's my. great. So Lisey Wallenberg is our second finalist. We have Mary and Lisey. Maybe we can spotlight Lisey if, uh, if we can uh, find her on here. That would be great. Uh, and uh, while we do that, I'm going to hand it over to Rabbi Levine, if you would unmute and tell us who your finalist is. Oh, there's Lisey and the glass. Whoa, those are pretty funky. Good choice, Heather. Rabbi, who's your pick? Oh, someone needs to unmute Rabbi Levine. Can somebody help me out with unmuting Rabbi Levine? Any takers? All oh, right, I'm used to being quiet, but usually that's by choice. Um, I just want to say I'm looking not through stars, but I'm looking at stars. My friends, it's so good to see all of you and such amazing, amazing um, outfits and smiles, um, some really incredible onesies. And I see some sharp looking hats, even uh, Faith Greenberg, a, a beautiful piano um, thing on your shoulders. It looks wonderful. Uh, what I, I think that I want to choose as a finalist is uh, Joe Pakel wearing a cheese head. Although, I, I, there you are. And wearing a mask, which makes me think that maybe this isn't cheddar, but maybe Limburger. And we should all think about each other as cheeses. We want to stay far apart. I love it. Let's see if we can spotlight Joe Pakel. And let's see that cheese hat. Joe, if you can raise your hand, it'll help us find you that much quicker because there are so many, whoa, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Joe. So our three finalists are Mary in her beautiful rainbow feathers, boa and hat. We have Lisey Wallenberg in her crazy zany glasses. And uh, we have Joe Pakel in his zany cheese hat. So there's gonna be a poll showing up on your screen right now. I don't know if I'll be able to see the poll, so maybe someone could, there it is. And uh, if everyone could vote, that would be great. Everybody vote. Who is your favorite? Mary is A, and Lisey is B, and Joe is C. 
Those votes are pouring in. Oh my gosh, I can see them moving. It looks like Mary is going out into the lead. Joe is a close second with Lisi right behind. There clearly are some Wisconsin fans in the crowd. I think that is it. I think the winner of our competition tonight is Mary. Congratulations for your amazing article of clothing. That is so fun. Thank you so much. And we can close out of that poll. And we're going to go to our next competition, which is your most beautiful ritual object. Your most beautiful ritual object. What ritual object might that be that is so beautiful? It could be really anything. It could even be, by the way, a Diet Coke yarmulke. Might be the most beautiful ritual object you have. But I also happen to have as an example here this beautiful Hanukkah that I have to say has special meaning to me. When I took a New York trip with my congregants, they bought this menorah for me as a sign of gratitude, and I think it is just beautiful. I, however, am not eligible. But I hope that you are showing your best Judaica. And uh, it would help if we could turn the spotlight off. Everyone should go back to gallery view. Everyone should go back to gallery view. Gallery view. Gallery view. Wow, there's a lot of people holding up a lot of stuff. Our judges for this round are David Douglas, past president, Stephen Weinzimmer, a member of our executive committee, and our very own Rabbi Greninger. So we hope that... Uh, our judges are looking at all the amazing, wow, there's a lot of Hanukkiot. There's a, some, is it a mezuzah? I think there's a mezuzah, Alice and Sorcher. Our preschool judge is showing a mezuzah. I don't know why it's in her hand and not yet up on her door, but we can certainly help her out with that at Temple Isaiah. So I hope that all of our judges, wow, that's a beautiful Seder plate, Josh Feller. I'm not trying to favor anybody, but I'm loving looking at all these things. This is fantastic. Blessing Kobe, also a menorah. Emily Blank has a dreidel. That's fantastic. So I'm going to go to our first judge, David Douglas. If somebody would unmute David Douglas, maybe even David Douglas, and uh, share with us his pick. It was really tough, these choices here. Um, first off, my wife wants us to pick ourselves. No, I but don't. But I can't do that because I just think <laughs> of the rules. <laughs> Um, I'd love to go with Alan Genesis uh, Seder plate because it's absolutely beautiful. And I love Josh and Lori's uh, Seder plate because it covers up what they're wearing. But I really have <laughs> to go with uh, Dan Greenberg because I assume that he made what he showed. And Dan Greenberg is such a great artist. And I believe it's a mezuzah that he's holding up. So uh, my vote would be Dan Greenberg. That is okay. great. So. Let's, um, if, if someone could uh, spotlight Dan Greenberg so we could see his beautiful Judaica, that would be really fantastic. I'm not sure who's spotlighting, but if we could find Dan Greenberg, that would be great. There it is. Wow. That is beautiful. And by the way, Greenbirds, you are looking mighty dapper tonight. That is a beautiful, beautiful mezuzah. Thank you so much. We're going to go to our next candidate, Stephen Weinzimmer. Who have you selected? Please unmute. Stephen, you might have to unmute yourself. For this Alan Genesis is nice. And oh, so many good things. So many good things. But Do you I'm have a favorite. Being kind of partial to blue, I'm going to go with, I'm going to, I'm really thinking serious about going with Judy and Terry Matskin's Hanukkiah. Judy and Terry Matskin's Hanukkiah. Let's see if we can get a spotlight on Judy and Terry Matskin, their beautiful Hanukkiah that caught Stephen Weinzimmer's eye. We are looking forward to seeing that myself. As soon as we, there it is. Beautiful. Wow, that's very unique. Uh, I like that. Very modern. Thank you so much, Matt Skin. And uh, let's go with our third job, Rabbi Greninger. What is catching your eye tonight? Rabbi Greninger, I think you have to unmute yourself. All right. Well, first, I just want to find out what are the Benensons holding? Because it looks like very curious. 
It's like a... Maybe they could type it in the chat box. Yeah, type it in the chat box. I'm very curious. Um, there are so many interesting and beautiful items. And I, my eye was drawn to, there were a couple of ketubot, which I thought were really gorgeous. and Oh, it's a rabbi. Ah, it's a rabbi. <laughs> Not one like me. <laughs> um, so many beautiful objects. But I am going to go with Tylee Crawford has the most beautiful Hanukkah that I think she made at Ghanilan. And it has these wonderful rocks. And actually, it might have even been in JoJo's class. And it's like base, it's sort of nature themed. I don't know which class it was in, but it's so beautiful. Right. Is that the name on the screen? Yeah, it says Tylee, Caleb, Great. Devin, and Adam. Yeah. Great. So let's go over to the Crawfords. It says Tylee is the first name. That'll help us find it a little bit easier. Yes. Let's see if we can spotlight that one. Whoever's yes, a spotlighter, great. we so appreciate. Great but, out of Ghani Lund. Wow, London. Tylee, that's, that's awesome. amazing. Hey, Crawford, so glad you're joining us tonight. That is really, The really love beautiful. that goes into making those things is just so beautiful, and I love what it looks like, and you can use it for years and years to come, so. I <laughs> love this. Wow, we've had several artists showing off their very own work tonight. This is amazing. <laughs> so our three candidates tonight were uh, Dan Greenberg, and uh, Terry Matskin, and finally, Tylee Crawford. So we're gonna get a poll up right now. If you wanna vote for Dan, I believe it's A. Uh, Judy and Terry Matskin is B, and Tylee is C. Wow, those votes are pouring in, oh my gosh. Wow. The votes are still coming in. We have almost 70% voting. We all know how important voting is, so please cast your vote. You want to be included. You don't want to be left out. Pick your favorite. And I think our votes have quieted down, and I have to say the winner is Tylee. Tylee Crawford. Amazing Hanukkah made at our very own Ganalan. So that is fantastic. Tylee, congratulations. You are our winner. We are gonna move now to our very last category, which is cutest pet. Cutest pet. So if you have a pet, or if your pet is not nearby, my pet is not nearby. I wish I could, demo, I could uh, give you a quick demo of how cute my pet is, even though I am not eligible. Um, I'm gonna ask everyone to go back to gallery mode. If everyone could go back to gallery mode, you'll know you're in gallery mode because you're seeing dozens and dozens of really cute animals. So our judges for this round are Sue Adler Bressler, Leslie Shafton, and our own Rabbi Miller. We are, whatever your pet is, oh, I see lots of dogs. I see lots and lots of dogs. Wow so far right there. there's Oops. some really oh even daniel lockard our accompanist is here featuring his own dog and jenny it's so good to see you guys thank you so much for joining us tonight um jackie nissim's dog strangely looks like a stuffed animal but you know we we allow all sorts of people to enter this competition um <laughs> Okay. I'm seeing you know, even some cute pictures of dogs. You know, the cats are definitely underrepresented tonight. Um, but, uh, and definitely, I'm, oh, there's there's Barbara Breslau's cat is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Um, really, McCutcheons? You're, you're even dressed up your dog for this event. That's amazing. Sophie Grossman, our youth director's cat is on here, too. This is fantastic. Look at all these fun pets. Um, <laughs> So I'm gonna go to our first judge. I'm gonna go to Sue Adler Bressler. Sue Adler Bressler, hopefully we can unmute Sue so that she can- I am her here. Pick. Hey, Sue. Wow, well, I I think they're all really adorable. <laughs> they and are. Good, and I don't wanna get anybody angry at me. Let's yeah. see. <laughs> um, can I vote for all of them? Yeah. Well, uh, you can vote for all of them with your heart, but with your mouth, you must pick one. All right. I sorry guys are all so cute. I think I'm going to go with the Manicures puppy. Oh, uh, the no. Manicures puppy. The Manicures puppy Paul and Cynthia Manicure. We can't wait to get them on our spotlight screen so we can see their really really cute dog. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh. 
That is some serious cuteness. I think, uh, are we, are we, is it a puppy? Not a puppy, but so cute. Oh, look at that punum. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna head over to Leslie Shafton. Leslie Shafton, who's got your eye tonight? You know, this is like Sophie's choice. It's so hard <laughs> because they're just all so adorable. Um, but I, I feel like that little baby chick that JoJo's holding has stolen my heart. I think oh, I'm gonna have Jojo to go with Peterson. the baby chick. Let's see. I, oh my goodness, is it a duck? No, it's a chicken. Uh, What's its name, Jojo? You're on mute. Oh, you're on mute. You're on mute. <laughs> so cute. Jojo, that is seriously cute. I mean, really? 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 With the joke. Did you see the joke no. in the chat? Guess what? <laughs> what? What? Chicken butt. Oh, very cute. <laughs> I love that. Jojo, I love that. that is a beautiful thing. Right? Thank you so Thank much. You. Jojo, by the way, is also one of our amazing JQuest teachers, and we're so grateful for all she does for our community. And now I'm going to go to our last judge, Rachel Miller, who I think is on with Leo and Jake. I know. Well, so Leslie, we were all ready to get JoJo's because we love getting eggs from JoJo's chickens and playing with them and going to her ranch. But what, which one was our other choice that we were really excited about? Sophie. Sophie's cat, because we know that she just adopted um, the cat recently. And we just think it's so great that she has a rescue cat at her house that she's taking care of. And look how cute. And I had a black cat. She's feeding it. Laughing. I don't know what she's eating really it. Tell, but I'm sure it's healthy. But my <laughs> cat growing up was a black cat just experience. like that called Bub, and it was like my favorite. He had no teeth, but he was the, the sweetest thing ever. So, um, right, we picked Sophie's, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And a little shout out to Sophie, our director, eat, who does such amazing stuff for our community. So, our three finalists. Our Cynthia and Paul Medicare with that cute, cute dog. Ugh, with the floppy ears. I'm a sucker for floppy ears. We have Jojo Peterson with her baby chick. I don't even know how old that cat, that uh, chicken is. And finally, we have Sophie Grossman with this really cute cat who just is a licker. So uh, we'll put a poll up in just a second. You can vote for your favorite, the dog, the chicken, or the cat. Oh my gosh, the votes are pouring in. The votes are pouring in. Wow, it's really close right now. Wow. Oh, JoJo's just a little bit ahead, but just barely ahead of the cat. For all these dogs, I'm amazed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sophie is coming in. Oh, the votes. Oh, it's going to be really tight. It is going to be really tight, but it looks like our votes have settled. Oh, oh, oh. And I think by a really small margin, the chicken has won. Congratulations to Jojo and her really cute chick. This is fantastic. I hope this was a lot of fun. It was so great seeing all of you and really playing up this great opportunity to have Zoom and seeing one another. I hope that was really fun. You, of course, are all winners. Uh, yeah. Really, really cute. Yes, you are all winners. Mazel tov to all of our winners for best in show. We love our Isaiah family, including all of our pets so, so, so much. In our next video, which we are about to show, we're going to hear what folks think is best about our show. In just a moment. My name is Brick Field, and my favorite thing about JQuest is being with my friends from um, preschool, and the teachers are very nice. Hi, my name is Chloe Fields. One thing I love about JQuest is that I love the JQuest community, and the teachers are amazing. I think JQuest is awesome because I get to learn about Hebrew and Judaism. Um, and sometimes it can be funny or interesting, and I get to have fun while doing it. Like, I get to sing songs and do art projects, and yeah, JQuest is really fun. I think JQuest is cool because you get to do music with Ben and you get to give Sadaka, um, and then you get to do Hebrew through movement, which you can learn Hebrew and then do fun things and move around. 
and then you get your um, bottom and top. Hi, we're Judy and Steve Lipson. We joined Temple Isaiah 12 years ago, and our first volunteer activity was helping with the gala the year we joined. We've made wonderful friends at Isaiah, and it's become central to our lives. We know firsthand how our clergy, staff, and fellow congregants are going above and beyond during the current crisis. When we needed help with some grocery shopping, Temple volunteers immediately came to our rescue. We went from feeling overwhelmed and vulnerable to feeling supported and safe. We are forever grateful. Thank you, Temple Isaiah. I'm Jerry Weintraub. I'm Melody Howell Weintraub. We chose our home 25 years ago to be close to Temple Isaiah. That has been a blessing. Temple Isaiah is our spiritual home, our social network, and the base for us pursuing Tikkun Olam. It is all at Temple Isaiah, Isaiah for us. We are proud to be part of a community that steps up in good times and hard times. When the greater community has a need, this temple shows up. And for that, we are very thankful. You can tell everything about a community by the way that it comes together in hard times. That's why I was so privileged to be able to participate in the Temple Isaiah COVID-19 outreach. Over 50 volunteers came together to reach out to over a thousand families, the entire community, and no one was left behind. They were checked in on, asked how they were doing, offered spiritual help, offered practical help. And for me, it really showed me what kind of community we are. We're a community that has the power of loving kindness and where love is an active verb. So thank you so much for the opportunity to serve and for uh, letting me be part of this wonderful project and community. Thank you. Wow, uh, this is uh, this is just amazing. What kindness, um, what care, what amazing stories we are ringing out about the ways that um, Isaiah is there for our families. Um, it's just so amazing to see so many Isaiah fa families here. Um, as I go through these eight pages of Zoom screens, it's just it's just amazing, and. Um, I'm really blown away to announce that we have another generous $18,000 donation tonight to our gala. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, this time it's an anonymous gift. And so we, um, we are so thankful to you uh, who has given thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and to everybody here, we hope that you have been inspired tonight. We, are hope, we hope that you are inspired uh, throughout all of your experience at Isaiah. And of course, we're able to give in ways that are meaningful to you. Maybe you've already given tonight. And I don't know, maybe you're thinking, oh, maybe I can give a little bit more. Maybe I can give a little bit more to support God alone or to support JQuest, um, to support our amazing youth program that's happening here to make sure that Isaiah is in a position to continue to be a strong and resilient uh, community, a thoughtful community um, on the other side of this pandemic. So anything, of course, that you can give and the many, of course, ways that you can volunteer and be a part of this community. Um, we we thank you so, so, so much to Deb. Um, and so Deb, I'd love to, to see where we're at. Oh my gosh, this wow. is amazing. <laughs> 75,493. Oh my gosh, so amazing. We are so close to our goal. If you have not donated yet, it is not too late. We have some more fun activities and videos to share before we leave tonight. So please, if you can find a, a, a way to donate and help us reach our goal for tonight, that would be amazing. We want to thank, um, since our last break, donations from Roy Kaplan and Janet Saunders. Thank you so much. From Karen Goldberg Boltz. Thank you so much. Dan and Dory Schick. The Miller family. Thank you. Amy Faltz. Thank you so much for your donation. Uh, and that, maybe I've got all the names. I'm going, I'm now scrolling through many pet promotions. Um, thank you, of course, to our anonymous gift that really helped us so much and made a really, really big difference. From Rabbi Jay Levine and Rabbi Laura Rumpf, thank you so much. From Wendy Feldman, thank you. Andy Sharlock, thank you so, so much. Uh, and uh, let's see. 
from Leslie and Duncan. I don't have a last name, but we are so grateful for your amazing, amazing donation. Thank you so much. I'm going to hand it back now to Rabbi Perlman, but just remember yeah. that even as we're watching our next video or during a song, you can still be typing your donations in. We are incredibly, incredibly grateful. Yes. Uh, also to the Pekel family who just gave a donation. Thank you so much. I Perhaps you were inspired by that last video. I know I surely was. This is just an amazing, amazing place to yes, be. Yes, there is so much for which we have to say thank you. In fact, I know that there are so many of us who want to say thank you, maybe we want to do so in video format. Let us lift up gratitude. We are so grateful to you, to our Temple Isaiah community to our extraordinary leadership leading us with courage with values at the center we say todalaba thank you and to my phenomenal partners in our staff and clergy team i am so grateful i'm grateful for the blessing of technology that lets us feel like we're together even when we can't be together i am grateful for our caring community both giving and receiving support I'm grateful for the creativity of our teachers and for the dedication of our children and parents to learning and community. I am grateful for the lasting friendships made while standing in line at amusement parks and around the campfire that has strengthened our Zoom check-ins during this time. I'm grateful for learners and seekers sharing open minds and open hearts as we continue to learn together. I'm grateful to be amongst a community of helpers as we teach our children about helpers in our new reality. I am so grateful for all the enthusiastic faces embracing new opportunities. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Thank you, God, for... Thank you, God, for modeling for us how to lean in with radical love and bold compassion in difficult times. For the joy and laughter that comes from Temple Isaiah Friendships. For surrounding us with people passionate to make the world a better place. For phones and internet, helping us stay connected with each other. For the depth of character and genuineness of the entire TI community. For the daily miracles of children learning and growing. For the blessing of music that has the power to heal, to enrich our souls, and to strengthen our relationship with God. For this community that strengthens and inspires each other every day. For all these things and more, we praise you, Adonai. May the spirit of peace, dignity, and respect inspire us to care for one another with compassion. And may we be a source of goodness, light, and healing for the world. And let us say, Amen. One of my favorite parts of Temple Isaiah is working with our incredible teen community. And as we had to go into shelter in place, I was sad that I would not be able to see all their faces all the time. But we've continued to come together on many Zoom calls of check-ins and lofty events and knock new events and more. And at the end of our events, we always end with singing Hashki Venu, asking God to protect us. Most of the time we can't hear our voices, we just see our lips moving. But tonight, we want to bring our voices to you in order to ask God to protect you on, on this evening. And so here it is that we sing Hashki Venu, asking God to protect all of us. Eva, why don't you get us started? <laughs> Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu. Le shalom, le shalom. Le ha'amidenu shomrenu le ha'im. Ufo salim sukach lo mecha. Ufo salim sukach lo mecha. Amen. Shelter us beneath thy wings, O oh, Adonai. 
guard us from all harmful things. Uh, don't I keep us safe throughout the night till we wake with morning's light? Teach us to be wrong from right. Oh, I don't Amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Our teams, Ram and I, all of us, we thank you for all the support that you have given us in all of our team programming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. I have to follow that. <laughs> no pressure. Well, I know that so much of what is coming out of everyone's heart tonight is gratitude. This is one of the most amazing things that we value as Jews. And uh, I share with you a song tonight. Uh, I did not write the song. Uh, it's by singer-songwriter John Bikino, and it is called Grateful. And I think it really sums up what a lot of us are feeling right now. I've got a roof over my head. I've got a warm place to sleep Sometimes I lie awake Counting gifts Instead of counting sheep I've got a heart that can hold love I've got a mind that can there may be times when I lose the light and let my spirit sink, but I can't stay depressed when I remember how I'm blessed, grateful, grateful. Truly grateful I am. Grateful, grateful, truly blessed and duly grateful. In a world full of strangers, I've got a family friends no matter what rocks and brambles fill the way i know that they will stay until the end grateful grateful truly grateful i am grateful grateful Truly blessed and duly grateful. It's not that I don't want a lot, or hope for more, or dream of more, but giving thanks for what I've got makes me so much happier than keeping score. In a world that can bring pain, I will still take each chance. For I believe that whatever the terrain, our feet can learn to dance, whatever stone life may sling. We can mold. Or we can sing Grateful, grateful Truly grateful I am Grateful, grateful Truly blessed
just and duly grateful. Truly blessed and duly grateful. Thank you to Cantor Corn. Thank you to our phenomenal team community. And thank you to everybody here tonight. Uh, we are so grateful. I want to invite you to bring close all those blessings that you can think of right now into your heart, into your head. Bring them close now as we start to inch toward our, our final time together this evening. Uh, we are uh, reminding you that once again, giving is still open, but we know that there are so many different ways that you can you can show your gratitude. So we are so thankful for, for all of those different ways. We're going to enter into the ritual of Havdalah, separation from Shabbat into the rest of our week now as we, as we close out, just like our Havdalah candle. Uh, it is made up of separate strands, but we know uh, that it comes together as one, just as we come together as one community. Let us bless together. I need to grab my guitar. Of course, of course. And if you have ritual items, you can feel free to bring those close now. All you need is some fruit of the vine, some spices, or, or just even two candles together, if not a Havdalah candle. We are so grateful for the opportunity to bring these rituals to light, even when we cannot be physical to, physically together. We know that spiritually, we are one. You can hold it up so we can all see it on your our Zoom screen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Meorei HaEish Borei Meorei HaEish Yalai A good week, a week of peace. May gladness reign and joy increase. A good week, a week of peace. May gladness reign and joy increase. Eliyahu Hanavi. Eliyahu Hatishbi. Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Hagiladi. Bimhera veyamenu.
Eleinu, Yavo Eleinu, Imashiach ben David, Imashiach ben David, Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hatishbi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Hagiladi. Shavua Tov, everyone. I'm going to turn it back to uh, our president, Alan Jenis, who is going to express his own gratitude this evening. So, Alan, if you will unmute. Hi, everyone. Wow. What a night. That was so fun. <laughs> we should do this regularly. Oh, my goodness. That was awesome. More than 200 people on Zoom tonight. Um, what what a demonstration of support for our community. So awesome. And thanks to all of you for logging on and joining us and supporting our um, amazing community. I'm so proud. Proud to be uh, the president of such an amazing, amazing congregation. Um, I want to thank our generous donors. What an amazing uh, chat that we were able to follow all night long, just people expressing their gratitude and love for Temple Isaiah. Amazing. Um, our original donors and our sponsors, amazing. Um, I'm so grateful to that Zoom Gala Gala committee who, who really took this on. Um, just an amazing job. And all of our presenters and special guests, I know how hard the judging was, so thank you to all of them. <laughs> And, uh, and to our video contributors. How about those teens? Oh my goodness. That was amazing. Um, I just love that. And our catering partners and to our amazing, amazing clergy. Thank you so, so much to Rabbi Perlman and Cantor Corn and to all of our clergy. Um, we're, so, we're so lucky to have you as leading our community. And to, uh, to Jen, Deb, Allison, the whole team, Really just incredible gratitude. I know you, you've you made our night and it is uh, it was just really fun. When you think about this as being a substitute for what is normally uh, an amazing event for Temple Isaiah, an event where we get to see one another, party with one another, it's hard to substitute that. There is, there you have on the screen, next year's gala, Saturday, May 1, 2020, put it on the calendar. I can't wait to see you there, but um, it's actually May 1, 2021. My L, L is pointing out the editor, <laughs> the editor in the family. Um, anyway, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to turn it back over to Cantor Corn to to uh, to finish us up. But thank Great. you, so, thank you all. Thank you, Alan. Thank you so much. And again, thank you for our committee and everyone, um, and thank you all for just being the most amazing and inspiring community. Uh, it is truly a blessing, and I speak on behalf of Rabbi Perlman and Rabbi Miller and Rabbi Levine and Rabbi Greninger when I say that for us it is truly a blessing that we have you as our community. As clergy people, we too need community. We need a Jewish community to feel we can be a part of. And it's not just that we work at Temple Isaiah or we serve the members of Temple Isaiah. We indeed feel this is our community, and truly we are so blessed to have you and call you our friends and our congregants and our community. So thank you so much. I'm going to just read some more names that have come in since our last uh, our our last uh, our last telethon break. Uh, I want to acknowledge Wendy and Richard Siegel. Thank you so much. And Rosemary and Bert Friedman. Thank you for your donation. Trisha and James Zucker. Thank you. Andy Schneit. Thank you so much. Roger and Evelyn Lamb. Thank you so much. Eli and Ollie Jenis. I'm glad Ollie donated, even though Ollie did not win the best pet competition. Karen and Michael Goldberg Bolts, thank you so much for your donation. Cantor Corn, sounds like a nice guy. Carol Mann, thank you so much for your donation. Phil and Dale Ross, thank you. Ann Katzberg, thank you so much. Sherry and Howard Goldsmith, thank you for your donation. Susan and Bill Epstein, we really are so grateful. This is an incredible community and what a blessing to be part of it. 
Yeah, you are a blessing. You all are a blessing. Temple Isaiah is a blessing. Thank you for um, for helping us continue um, to be that blessing in the community. Deb, can we see where we landed tonight? Amazing! Oh, amazing. <laughs> 88351 dollars This is amazing. We are so grateful to you. Of course, there you can continue to give after the event as well, but we are... Um, we are floored. Um, it is amazing. Thank you for, uh, you know, just loving Isaiah. Uh, we love you back. We are one community. Thank you. Cancer, can you sing us out? I love that song uh, from the very beginning, Zoom Gala Gala. Well, we all had such fun at this show, and we happened to raise lots of dough. Through the videos, the song, and the rhyme, let us close by toasting Lechaim. It was a Zoom Gala Gala, was a Zoom Gala Gala, a Zoom Gala Gala, it was Zoom Gala Gala. Zoom Gala Gala was a Zoom Gala Gala. Zoom Gala Gala, twas a Zoom Gala Gala. Zoom. Thank you again, everyone. Thank you to my uh, my partner in fundraising and uh, frivolity tonight, Rabbi Perlman. This was a lot of fun for us. Special, special thank you to uh, to Deb Kirsch and Jen Boxerman and. Um, and our entire office staff who have worked tirelessly throughout this, collecting your donations, helping us with technology. We could not have done it without them. Thank you so, so very much. Zoom Gala Gala, thank you. And everyone have a wonderful night. Shavua Tov. Shavua Tov. We're going to unmute you if you want to uh, everyone. There are only 196 of you left, so I'm sure it won't be confident. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Hi, everyone. We all want to Thank you. Thank you. Thank I can't see what you Larry. Hi, Larry. Hi, Ready to leave. Oh, and thank you. I'm going to share your photos. Wait a minute. Let's take a photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, great seeing everyone. And then, uh, entry in the pet contest. Oh, great Oh, 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 Hi. Why did you say Shavuot? Karen. Uh, should we get off? Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Shavuot. Yeah.